sitting here charging up my portable charger my phone charging up everything so the main thing when i get there i want is a public sandwich but i don't know how far that is from the airbnb so i'll put something on my stomach now but yeah i just wanted to open up the vlog with you guys if y'all interested in this video make sure y'all like we're gonna do a travel vlog i haven't did a travel vlog in a long time but if it's loud here it's a lot going on so yeah. Hey y'all, so I made it to Miami. Um, I'm waiting for my lift ride right now and go check into the Airbnb. It is hella hot. Let me go ahead, yeah. It's, it's very dewy here. So once I get to the Airbnb, I will pick y'all back up. Hey you guys so i made it to the room um from the airport the ride was about 20 minutes the lift ride was very reasonable um y'all to be honest with you this lady she was like she kept going back and forth and she was like is this terminal um h i said no this is terminal g so poor lady she had um <laughs> she was at the wrong terminal oh, first thing first i'm gonna go ahead and tell y'all when I booked this Airbnb, you know, when you're on Airbnb, it tells you new. My suggestion is always to find somewhere that has previous um, Airbnb people to stay there, um, four or five stars, you know. And the ones that's new to me, I've seen them in the past. Some of them like be scams because what they want to do is they want to go ahead and book a room, you know, open up an Airbnb like they have a room to rent. But it'd be a whole scam. Now, when I seen this one, I looked at the picture. Um, they do have like a host ID number or something like that. So I was just like, mm. but the reason why I chose this one, because this is close by um, dental, dental design. So I was like, I don't know. But based on everything that I checked off my list in my mind, as long as they're giving pictures, several pictures of the room and things of that sort so my suggestion will be that if you're going to book an airbnb double check triple check make sure it looks legitimate check out their picture check out their profile because sometimes with these airbnbs they do have other airbnbs that's in the area or somewhere so let me just go ahead and give y'all a tour so first thing first when you walk in and it is a room that's attached to a house so I've stayed in those before. As long as I got my individual room, um, refrigerator, shower, bed, closed off, I'm fine with that. So, 
let me give you a tour so that's the bed right there got my stuff i already put my charges on because i was like i need to charge my stuff up so i did that nice bed and it's real cute real real cute so i'm gonna show y'all different angles come around this way you got well let me just turn y'all around right here you have like a little nice stand little place to eat right here this is the little kitchen area she does oh, have a light here oh yeah here we go sorry about that y'all so this is the little kitchen area glasses you know if you want to have a drink i love that is my thing still charging yeah that thing i don't know we trying to sink right here cabinet you know for eating and then coffee stuff in here um paper towels help me i'm so nosy i was looking down here too trash can trash bags what else she got down here yeah it's nothing down there extra chair right there refrigerator right here little toaster and y'all when i went in the refrigerator look complimentary drinks right here see when you want to host something and invest i love this she gonna definitely get a good re review for me because i'm like okay <laughs> i need something to drink anyway so yeah really clean now bitch you don't have no food in the freeze okay okay so let's go around here and this is another view angle of the bed it's real nice it's, it's it's doable for me and the reason why i like airbnb is because when you go to hotels hotels be trying to you gotta fight three to five days to get your money back for a deposit and parking and all this type of stuff so mm -mm. so my luggage right there and this is cute so right here is the closet she got an iron for you pillows lights out i haven't started cleaning um yet and then right here this is the bathroom towels real nice real nice i, I like it shower I like airbnbs airbnbs i think they're the most you know affordable if you're not trying to really spend no money when i had my tummy tuck i stayed in airbnb anytime like some people like airbnb so much if you go to the same place they'll go back to the same airbnb but like i said this one right here said new and i was just like mm, but it turned out good the tv right there on the wall. determine if i'm gonna go get something to eat i'm really not hungry because i had something at the airport do i want to go have a little nibble something just in case in the middle of the night come back um they got a mcdonald's i don't want that i want to sit down at a restaurant or something like that um but yeah i'm about to start putting my stuff up really I'm gonna put my slides on so yeah so i will drop all the information below i will leave the link below to this airbnb y'all um this is june um total price that i paid for the airbnb was like 400 and something dollars um because i think when i booked it because it was new anytime when airbnbs are new on the site they give like the people a discount so basically i got a discount because she, this was her first airbnb or I think the first three months something like that child something like that but it was it was very affordable i know what hotels down here um can be more expensive so do your research um to each his own you know you could um get a hotel room but honestly hotels i like hotels but 
I needed to be where I needed to be at. So that was that. So let me figure out, find something, and then I pick y'all back up. And y'all, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Like, I hope y'all really, really like this vlog. Um, today, it's not a lot gonna go on because tomorrow I gotta handle the business. But um, yeah, so if I get out, I would definitely bring y'all along. The camera is charged, all the stuff is charging, so we doing good, hey guys. Okay, I just took me a shower. Honestly, y'all, I've been napping because I was really, really tired. I didn't pick up the camera this morning because um, when I woke up, I had to make sure my two vlogs for this week was completed, uploaded, and everything. And then um, I had to go ahead and get the kids situated with breakfast. I went ahead and did dinner for today, started some clothes, cleaned up, all of that. So, honestly... I left the house like around 11.30, 11.45, went to the airport and then, you know, grabbed something to eat. So when I got here, like I told y'all in a previous clip, I was like, I don't know if I'm going to get something to eat. I did and came back and I've been napping, honestly. And y'all, my phone has been running hot. Um, It's been running hot, but it's just like when it charged, like right I know that sometimes when you be in these apps, they run hot. Um, long story short, I just been chilling. I just took a shower. Let me put my Lasher Rose, Pose, whatever the hell it's called. And I just been up here. I'm gonna take a damn. I'm gonna go to sleep. I have been trying to map out tomorrow, depending on how long my appointment is. After I leave there, I need to go to the Faha store. Then I'm probably go to the beach or go to the strip or something. But you really got to be careful right now because there's no travel. They don't want people to come to Miami. And honestly, like I told y'all before, it's these younger kids. So, you know, they don't want them there. Oh, snap. So, yeah, I ain't, I'm not doing anything. And what I'm going to do when I wake up in the morning, because the, the the office is literally about eight minutes away from here, literally around the corner. Um, If I wanted to, I could walk, but I'm not going to walk in these people's neighborhood. Let them know that mm -mm, I'm going to take that little four, five dollar lift ride, going on by my business. And make sure y'all drop y'all comments below, and I'll probably do a separate Q&A about everything you want to know about dental design. I would definitely do that. And, um, yeah, so I will pick you guys up in the morning and don't forget to like, comment, subscribe to my channel. Good morning, you guys. Welcome to the first full day here in Miami. So today is Monday, June 12th. Um, I've been up for a little bit because of the time difference. My time is actually an hour behind. So I've been up, made sure the kids are in order, even though I'm here, I'm still a mother first. So I got up this morning. Um, went on ahead, got myself situated. Everything is charged. I got my extra charger batteries. Um, the dentist office actually sent me a text message this morning, which I had already filled. Well, I guess maybe it's the check in thing, whatever. But um, what I'm wearing today, I basically got this tank top right here. This is from Target. I got this a while ago, and these are the shorts that I got from Old Navy. Let me actually give y'all a full look. Hold on, let me turn y'all around. So that's what I got on, if you can see. Yeah, something simple. These shorts are real cute. So I decided to wear this today. Um, actually, I'm about to um, put some lotion on. Call the Uber. Um, actually, y'all, the Uber ride is like five dollars. Now, if I would have walked, it would have been <laughs> it would have been um, a 17 minute walk. But um, child, I'm not gonna walk. Let me turn my light back on. Sorry. Um, that's trash. Where is the lotion bag? Right here. So I didn't decide to pack my bag, my little Nike bag, heavy because typically that type of stuff is like I just brought it to have. So about to call it lift. Go there and probably find an activity or something to do. Um, I'm probably going to wait to eat because yesterday I ate two times just to put something on my stomach. Was I dying hunger? No. 
but um yeah so i set up here i was like do i want to put makeup on mm -mm. because baby when i got touched down i know texas is hot but <laughs> baby it was so humid um when i get off that plane so once i get to the location y'all already know i signed a paper saying that i cannot record but i'm gonna try to do something with my phone so um i hope i can get the best clips i'm gonna like, give y'all all the details so um i do apologize in advance because they really have a strict little whatever they say that but people still be doing it so but once I get there, I will pick you guys back up. So, yeah. Okay, y'all. So, I just had my appointment. I did the exam, x-rays. Um, the, I talked with the treatment coordinator. And then they went ahead and did my cleaning. So total, everything was like $4,900. But again, I already paid $2,000. So um, the cleaning was really good. The lady did, she got down in here, baby. She did that. So I don't need nothing else. I don't need no fillings. I just have to get a, um, a gum alignment because some of my teeth are like, because I got small teeth. Um, they have to like line that up and then I do have to get a retainer so I did get a retainer you can't really record in there I mean you can't record so I'm gonna just show y'all a little bit and I'm gonna get a lift to go to the Faha store and then I'll get back uh, and we'll talk about it more so I hope if y'all have any questions like I said drop them below As you can tell I made it back to the Airbnb and I had grabbed me something to eat because it started raining I did not expect that right I try to wait it out um that was not happening so the Sun is out now but it's just on and go on uh, no I'm not gonna do that I'm definitely not gonna try to get sick down here but um I said let me go ahead and give y'all a little little tea i'm laying down i got my jacket on because it's cold in here y'all this lady got this damn thing so cold so y'all see me go to the faha store i did get the faha the one i wanted i got it on but i said so i did get a couple uh clips for y'all with the um where dental design is at um and I do have my appointment tomorrow for the one in Flagstrip. Flagship, sorry. Flagner, West Flagner, sorry. Um, Because when I went, I did a cleaning. And the lady was like, oh, your appointment's on Thursday. Oh, on Wednesday. No, Thursday. I was like, no, the lady told me my appointment's tomorrow. So, me being her and I said, um, she told me my appointment's tomorrow. But the other, anyways, I got it sorted out. My appointment's tomorrow at 1.30. At 1.00. So, after they did the x-rays and exam and everything, the lady told me, you know, you already had paid, already had paid $2,000, because it never hurts to ask, never hurts to ask. She told me, she was like, so I had to get a cleaning, um, all four quads, so upper left, upper right, lower left, lower right, and that was at first $250 so I was like okay that's fine that's cool and she said that I need to do a another um cleaning which they would do that tomorrow also and then I have to do like a gum uh adjustment uh for my teeth so at first I'm gonna show y'all and I'm gonna try to 
it says right there my total balance was $5,500. Y'all see that? So I was just like, wait a minute. Like, mm, like, because I've been on top of my stuff. I was like, you know, why is it 55 And she was just like, oh, because of these things. And I said, well, I talked to the lady and she just told me that, you know, I, my balance should be like around 28 because composites start at 4500 So because I had already paid, you know, 2000 I only had to pay for you know the remainder the remainder of the veneers and the cleaning and the gum adjustment so she was like well did she say anything about a discount i was like well i talked to her me being who i am i talked to her and she told me that you know um there was nothing you know already applied but once i get here you know for y'all to add it she's like okay well let me go talk to her that it is and that and then y'all uh, final estimate it's right here I'm trying to cover up my name so right there it says 49 49.50 so basically what ended up happening was instead of them charging me $250 for just the general cleaning they charged me $150 for that um and what else um instead of the composite of them charging me forty five hundred. Actually, they charged me four thousand. My retainer is still three hundred, and um, I still have to get the occlusion adjustment. So basically, they knocked off a, a chunk, a, a nice little piece for me, because they started at forty five hundred, but I didn't need nothing done besides the cleaning. I got to get the gun adjustment and my retainers. And they, um, the retainers, I have to get that because how my teeth is aligned. So, if you think I'm lying, let me show y'all. Right there. Paid in full. And if it says, uh, Better Dental, that's who they was. They, that's the same name. I don't know why they got two. The building say dental design, but sometimes when you process payment, it says Better Dental. So, you know. They didn't even tell me nothing about no damn discount, but guess what? I went on ahead and asked. I went on ahead and asked. I was like, no, because, you know, I wanted to pay as much as I could before I got there because I was just like, you know, sometimes when you go to these places down here, they do tell you one thing, and then all of a sudden, when you get there, it's going to be more. They knocked out $550, so that I didn't need to pay for some reason. So that was that. Did say I did. I, I think on the back of here I wrote down some notes. She told me that I need to come every three to four months to get my cleaning. Um, she said be careful with coffee, tea, wine, because it stains the teeth. So I'm gonna be coming back here to get my cleanings. I could get them did like where I'm at, but I'm just the type of person that I'm just gonna go back to because um, you know they're the ones who did it. So if anything, but um. I want to say Su Young, that lady ain't even uh, Chinese, but Su Young did a, a damn good cleaning. Um, the uh, hygienist, she did a damn good cleaning. She was like, when the last time you had a clean? I told her I had a la uh, my last cleaning on May 19th. And she was a little, and I, you know, and here's another thing. This brings up another point. You know, when it comes down to other nationalities running business and working, they work together. It was so many people employed. It was so many people like hands on deck. When they say hands on deck, like for a business to be successful, everybody making money, everybody trying to make sure everybody's taken care of, they was. Like the, it was. And it's a whole strip, but on the start of like in the office, that's where you get your x-rays, exam, and your uh, treatment coordinator tells you how much everything is. And then all of a sudden, I pay. Um, and then she called four people. And we walked down to the end of the strip, and that's where they did the clean is at. That's where all the hygiene is at. Now, I'm going to tell you this. <laughs> Just like these surgery centers, you cannot sit up here and tell me all them damn people is licensed. Even though I've seen a license up there. The people just been doing it for a long time. You know what I'm saying? They've been doing it for a long time. So, they know what they're talking about. Um... You know, I don't want to speak down, but at the same time, you know, even I feel as though because some of them that reminds me of these doctors out here. Some of these doctors are really not doctors. 
surgeons. They are, they just been practicing, probably, some of them probably have went, got their credentials done, and some of them probably have not finished it. But they, you know, legitimately uphold themselves so far. So, um, yeah, so that was that. I just been back here um, because when I had looked, when I was done, I looked on the tray because I had a little plaque build up right here. Baby so Young was all down in there. She she was eat, 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 like, you know. So it's very much good to do your cleanings every six months, just your general cleanings. And she told me, she said, now I want to tell you this. When you do your flossing going forward, she said, because you need to floss. And I'm going to be practicing that too because it's natural. She said, when you floss, floss, get in and pull. She said, do not yank down like normally what we do. She said, floss and pull out. I said, okay, cool. So that was that. And then, so I went to Publix and got me, because I know y'all been hearing me talk about Publix. I went to Publix and got me a sandwich over there. And let me say this, I love Florida people, but Florida people do not give a damn. Ghetto, it is fine. I went to the Publix over there and uh, that was in Miami Lakes. And, um, cause that was the Faja store. And I was trying to get my sandwich because I said, ooh, I want me a good old, you know, sandwich. Give me some good food because I know pretty much tomorrow eventually in my mouth. And I'm up there at the front. How about these women back there? They just getting into it. And the lady was like, you don't leave a customer standing here as long as you do. She was like, well, y'all seen a customer standing there when I walked off. So I need to do what I need to do. And if I need to pee, the customer going to stand there. And the lady was just like, she just grabbed the paper and just shook her head. And I was like, I don't want no problems. I don't want no problems. I just want my sandwich. Because I remember one time I went to McDonald's after I had my tummy tuck. And the man was getting, the boy was getting into it with me. They're like, Florida people is crazy, y'all. So right now, even though they don't want us here, um, you know, you if you're not involved with stuff, stuff ain't going to happen to you. So, I, 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 you know, got my sandwich and went on, call my lift. Because sometimes I be trying to wait to that lift. You know, it be going up and down. Bitch, I paid that lift and went on by my business. Because I don't want no problems with these people down here. I just been responding to some comments of my previous video that I posted on Sunday. If y'all have not seen it, go check that out. Okay, y'all, so I made it to the second location of Dental Design. They actually have three. This is where you're going to get your treatment at. Something on my stomach because I don't know how I'm going to be able to eat after. Um, it's actually in a little strip mall, y'all. So, you know, so this is the last time you're going to see these. Okay, y'all, so I pretty much got my veneers. So I wanted to show y'all this is the second location if you're gonna get any treatment done. I'm kind of at a distance, but if you're gonna get porcelain veneers or composite, this is where you're gonna get your treatment done. The first location is like where you go do your initial appointment, x rays, but this is where you come right there because I know online they only show you the main office, but well, on the paperwork it shows you the other three offices, so that's where I got my treatment done. So Y'all, I feel like, ooh, but bitch, look at the teeth. Damn. Oh, uh, what I was gonna say, I feel like Nene when she got into a charade, and they're done. They're done. They're done. They're done. Yes, you guys. So I really love them. I asked for a second and third opinion. He told me to call like my family and see if they uh, like them, if there's any adjustments. So. But they're pretty and y'all i went to this little restaurant right here because he told me i could eat soft foods like soups and um like rice so if i'm talking funny it's because my mouth is still numb but uh, it's like a little restaurant right here y'all the restaurant is pretty cool 
It's a Mexican restaurant and baby the soup is the soup is soup in front of me right now. So once I get back to the Airbnb, I will pick y'all back up. But y'all let me know how y'all like my tea. How y'all like them? They're really white. But they say it's best to get the whitest shade because they do like kind of over time the color like wears off. So but yeah y'all. But don't forget to like, comment, subscribe to my channel. If y'all Okay, y'all, so I made it back to the Airbnb. Um, first of all, first thing first, if y'all go get your teeth done and dental design at the second location, try that restaurant out because, baby, I wanted some soup. And I was over here looking at Panera Bread, you know, generic stuff. And no offense, but <laughs> not the best restaurants that look good on the outside be having the best food. Because, uh, baby, that soup, they gave me a big old soup thing with corn, potatoes in it. Then a side of rice, a side of salad. I needed some soup anyway. So, but anyways, so my lips have gone down a little bit. If I sound like I'm stuffed up, I am because this Airbnb place, they've been having the air on. Yeah. But anyways, and the weather has been like raining here. So, ew. My overall experience, so my point was at 1, they really did start to 2, and honestly, y'all, it wasn't bad. The only thing, them shooting them needles, they shoot them like 6 at the bottom, 6 at the top, and baby, when I tell you, they shoot you in your mouth. Who? but you don't feel nothing, though. You know, you don't feel nothing, so that was the good part about it. Uh, so basically, if y'all previously before, I'm going to put a side-by-side -side of my teeth. The side two teeth were like small. They were hidden behind. So I told him I want those to come forward to make my smile straighter. So that's when they had told me that because my gums, the side teeth was going down and then they went back up for the two front teeth. They had to align my gums. That being said, now when he lasered my gums, it didn't hurt, but I smelt it. I literally smelt it. I was like, oh my God, but it didn't hurt. So what they did was he he was pretty fast. He was pretty fast. And um he asked me, you know, do I want to take a break in between? So he did the top. Once he had shaved my teeth down just a little bit and uh did my gums, he was already like putting the veneer on top. So he was pretty fast. And then from there they did an impression for my uh night uh, for my retainer. Anyways, um uh, my side teeth over here was a little high, so they shaved that down. Because y'all laying there was cool, but after a while, like my back, my ass was hurt. I was getting stiff. I was ready to get up. And then, so they did the impression, gave me a little break, and then they did the bottom. He did the bottom because the dentist is the only one in the room doing the whole thing. And when he did that, at first, I was just like, he told me, uh, what shade I want. I said, well, can I see it first? And he was just like, well, this shade that I have is the most white. And I've heard people say get the most white because over time it does like fade away. And I was like, I don't know about the most white. Look like, uh, uh, but, um, I seen his and he had the most white. I said, okay, give me that. Cause it looked natural. But for me, when they got done, you know, of course, I had to get, I got to get used to him, like, you know, but he did tell me, he was like, call your family or friends and ask them for your opinion, and uh, my dude, he was like, I like him, I love him, my sister was like, I like him, Drea was like, they look good, so I was like, what about shaving down, they was like, no, they look good, because I told him, do not get, I don't want no big teeth, my, my natural teeth are not big, you know, so that was that, and then they gave me some aftercare stuff. So, basically, I got to brush my teeth three times a day. Well, at least two times a day. And when I floss, like I told y'all yesterday, floss, put it in, slide it out. But I floss twice on my own so far. Baby, there ain't gonna nothing gonna get caught up in there. So, I already got to get some stuff. So, I use Pronamel, uh, Sensodyne. I already use that. That's the only toothpaste I use. Uh... Because, like, if you had dental work done, if you sensitive, like, around your gums, it really helps the enamel. It helps your gums, too. So, I use Sensodyne anyway. I got to get a water pick. I think I have a water pick at home, to be honest. And I have to get a uh, mouthwash, but no alcohol. 
and that was pretty much it y'all that was pretty much it that's that's it so i did notice like after i got them done i was like oh like you know just getting adjusted so i was like let me bring my ass on home because yeah <laughs> and that was pretty much it y'all so now going forward my experience i would just say this and i said this i think i said this yesterday dumb people was hands on deck when i say hands on deck like i didn't have a bad experience at all like fast but you know what one thing about them they gonna make sure they do their job because honey at the end they had me do a survey <laughs> They was like, can you do a Google review? I'm like, sure. You know, I did that. And then I did another survey. No people make sure they put out good service. Because in the end, you know, that's what helps them out and get more recommendations. So, yeah. And there was some other girls in there, too. I was talking to one girl. She was getting porcelain. The other girl, she was getting composite. I don't know if she got it or not. Because she was saying that the dentist recommended her to get porcelain. You know, I don't know. But uh, it was a good experience. Make sure y'all stay on top of y'all stuff. Turn your paperwork in. Ask to speak to an office manager. Ask questions. You know what I'm saying? And I always suggest, if you're going to go do anything, go get some pre whatever it is. Like, go to the dentist. Because one girl told me, the same girl that she said that they want her to do porcelain, she said that she spent an extra $1,300. And she said she went to the dentist but i don't know so she said she wasn't prepared to spend that but see me i went there paid the rest of my balance like i said yesterday they tried to tack on an extra 550 dollars they took that off so i spent less than five and you can too just ask questions do what you need to do be polite to people because you're trying to get some type of service from them so yeah i try to see if i could change my flight to go home tomorrow but i can't because the times is sold out so it is fine so i'm gonna get ready to take a uh shower <laughs> my sister she's so funny she was just like can y'all do me can y'all do me because i ain't got no tooth on there i said y'all excuse her excuse her <laughs> so um so far people like her I, like i said i have to get used to her so now going forward like bitch i need to be you know, making more time for myself, stepping out. I spent all this money for my teeth, my boobs, my ass, tummy tuck. Like, I need to enjoy myself because life is short. And another tip out there. Whatever you want to do for yourself and your body, as long as you have your valid reasons, that is all that matter. Like, the main reason why I wanted to get my teeth done is because people always told me that I had a nice smile. However, you know, me... My smile is nice, but I just didn't like how my side teeth did not grow out. If my side teeth would have grown out and I could have whitened them and, you know, I would have been fine with it. Because my daughter teeth straight. My son teeth straight. My son, my youngest straight. I mean, well, he got to go through his phase of losing teeth. But, like with me, mine didn't happen like that. And my mom teeth was not like that neither or my dad. So, but that was my main reason. I did it for me because... I wanted a a perfect smile. That was my reason. And, you know, I don't give a damn what nobody else say. You could go pay your deposit and get in the chair, too. Because, trust me, there's a lot of availability. It's And the office is real nice. So, I hope the clips that I showed you guys. And, like I said, uh, I always want to tell people stuff and show people stuff on my channel that I would want to know. Because I think that the vlogs that I watch from people... They always talked about the other location, but people need to know what it looked like on the outside. You know what I'm saying? Because they are in a plaza, yes. But, uh, yeah. If it goes wrong, I got this done with them. I'm going to go back to them. You know what I'm saying? So, that was that. So, yay to me. And no, you do not have to be put to sleep. My only suggestion is, <laughs> bring your ass some Tylenol. You want to, no, I was about to say something else, but um, yeah, so I gotta sleep with my retainer, and and yeah, that's pretty much it. So I'm definitely satisfied, and like I said, I'll probably do a separate QA 
So hopefully tomorrow, I think what I'm going to do is I might have to leave Airbnb early because it's just been raining. Let me see if it's going to rain tomorrow. That's fine. Because I, you know, I ain't have to check. I, I don't have the time to go out there to the beach and then it get raining. I, I just didn't want that. <laughs> Courtney is so <laughs> Courtney, she's a, a vlogger too. She told so I got the okay to take my boots off. We, uh, my boot out. Girl, she messed up her ankle. She told so we could go ahead and drink. She know I'm going to be down for a drink, baby. She know I'm going to be down for a drink. But one thing I can say, y'all make sure you go to the dentist like every six months so that way you know down the line you can get used to because some people don't like to go to the dentist and i don't neither but i have to and mentally my anxiety i have to do it but it won't be bad if you go every six months whatever you got to pay for your treatment just pay for it but also um got to make sure your teeth are in good health, you know. And when he told me, he said, you don't have no cavities, none. But um, I'm going to take my bath, uh, brush my teeth, floss my teeth again. And I will pick y'all up tomorrow. So hopefully we can get some activity done, y'all, because I'm, I'm really this weather. So don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. And yeah. And if I'm talking a certain type of way, like I told y'all, you got to get used to it. But yeah, I will pick y'all up tomorrow. Okay, looks like it's clear. Okay, y'all, so today is day three. Right now, I'm headed to the strip. I'm about to go get something to eat. Hang out there for a couple of hours. Uh, but uh, I just wanted to check in with you guys. I'm going to give y'all a couple of B-rolls, a couple of clips. So, uh, yeah, let me show you my outfit this hat i got this hat from like jd this top i already had uh came from victoria's secret and then i have the shorts on the crochet shorts that i told y'all that i got from walmart Oh, yeah, they're going to Versace Mansion right there. If y'all ever want to come to Miami, the Versace Mansion. They go to the palace down there. They go to the beach over there. I was going to go to the beach, but uh, uh. finger licking. That's DJ Khaled's restaurant. I think they're closed. They just put that location there. So, but they food, they drinks are really, really good. I've had the greens before, the chicken wings, really, really good. So, check them out. I don't know. When they're gonna be open right there, or if they open later. Y'all, this don't even make no damn sense. Look how hot I am. Mm -mm. I already called the lift. I'm ready to go. Like, I'm no. No, 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 no. No. You gotta, I mean, it's June, but you gotta really, I mean, child, I feel so. Let me get off of here, y'all. Okay, y'all. Free at last, free at last. Thank God I'm my baby. I'm back at this Airbnb. Y'all can have that strip. Baby, Dolphies out there on the floor. Hot ground. If you see my Insta story, this lady, she just laid passed out on the hot ground. My makeup has sweated. It don't look like it, but I'm going to wash it off. Baby, I, I, my arms, I, I've been sweating so bad. So guess what? I'm going to take me a shower. <laughs> I cannot do it. Like, th this type of heat... It did mix of alcohol too because I was like, oh, let me get me a, a good margarita drink. Baby, the margarita drink was okay. I, uh uh, uh uh, uh uh. And then people I, it, accepted Uber ride, Lyft rides and they not even coming to you. They going to the opposite direction. So I was like, you know what? I, I did my little one too. I wouldn't dare step put my feet on that hot ass beach until uh uh. To scald me because it was that fucking hot. You could cook a whole omelet on the side. No. So uh I hope the content was good for you. But I have plans to take myself out on a dinner date tonight. That's what I really wanted to do that. So the place 
I don't have to make reservations. It's not too far from here. But, uh, y'all, uh-uh. No. So, I'm gonna go ahead and take my shower. Hope y'all been liking this vlog. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to my channel. Y'all, please watch it all the way through. I'm trying to get my engagement up. If y'all can really, if anything else, make sure y'all like the video. Try to watch it all the way through so it can push it more on the algorithm. Hey, you guys. So, it's been much later. Y'all, that sun uh, wore me out so bad. But I'm actually gonna go to this restaurant, take myself out on a little dinner date. Just me, myself, and I. I just sprayed the Versace that I had got for Mother's Day. Perfect for travel, travel size. So you ain't gotta be taking your big stuff. So I brought this outfit, which I already had. This top fashion over the pants, uh, the mesh pants fashion over. Let me look, give y'all a cool look. Fashion over. So yeah, my shoes are right here. So I'm about to get dressed. Let me move y'all over here. Y'all, that sun had me so drained. And I wish this goes away. I really do. Uh, that sun had me so drained, y'all. I was in this bed and I heard myself snoring. <laughs> Literally, I did. Somebody had said it looked like I was melting. And I was melting out there, y'all. That strip is fine, you know. But as you get older, my personal opinion, uh-uh. I can let the young ones have it. So, about to take myself out to eat. Really just appetize. I'm really not even hungry. I'm just forcing myself because I know for a fact that I don't do nothing on the regular so, you know, I, I, I need to do that for me. So, these shoes, I didn't have, well, I do have tan shoes, but I was just like, uh-uh, I'm just going to bring something that is doable for my feet. So, I really need to hurry up. So, I'm about to put this shoe on. Once I get to the restaurant location, I'm going to drop that all down below. I will pick you guys back up. y'all so i made it back to the airbnb y'all i'm so irritated with my phone my phone keeps getting hot i was trying to get some pictures b-rolls all that and the phone just kept running hot i couldn't even take a good picture with the flash so it just ugh. but anyways uh the food was okay the place i went to is called chico chico malambo or something like that it's in Doral, and it kind of reminded me of in Irving, because when you go over there by the Toyota Center, like, it's a whole bunch of restaurants and stuff, so it's, like, a, a whole bunch of different restaurants, so if, I would link that below for you guys also, so if you wanted to go to something else, it's several different places over there, like, you could choose from, so I like it. She said they don't close till midnight, but there's a whole bunch of attractions over there, so I made it back here. I'm going to unwind and get me, uh, brush my teeth and go ahead and lay on down. So, I'm going to pick y'all back up. Okay, y'all. So, I took a shower. I cleaned up my little stuff for the Airbnbs. Uh, the Airbnb, I even washed the towels because, you know, they would charge you for the towel. Like, if you stained them, did that. Kind of sort my stuff together. Oh, I wish this go away. Y'all, I've been binge uh, watching Girlfriends. Girlfriends is so damn funny. 
like I liked it back then, but when you watch stuff over again, it's it this shit is so funny. Tony is funny. Joe ass is too. And Maya and Jabari, her son. <laughs> This is too funny. So, I've been up here watching this, y'all. So, I took my Benadryl. But, I think because I had food, it are, it's not kicking in. So, probably tomorrow, I'm going to get a late checkout here for the Airbnb. And there is an outlet mall. I'm going to try to make it to see, you know, what they might have. Try to get some content there. But we'll see. Okay. Uh, so, yeah. Que la 